Well, we originally wanted to see if Gavin could help out with the team. His mom had talked to me about possibly being a water boy or something out with the team, and I said, let's just promote him to assistant coach. We call him the assistant coach, the assistant coach. Gavin's my assistant coach. He likes that title. This team is so sweet and amazing. He's kind of cheering on us. He'll clap sometimes if we score or we get a good touch, touchdown or sack or tackle. I've heard kids call him that he is their good luck charm, which is really sweet. From the first moment we've been talking about it, he gets giddy every time we talk about it. You look at him and you see his bright, smiling personality in the midst of all that he's dealing with, and you realize that, you know what, a lot of times what, I, what I'm getting frustrated over really isn't all that important. He keeps me calm. <laughs> um, he reminds me that there's more to life than just a football game. Be like Gavin, always being happy and cheerful, don't bring down nobody. He's just kind of a part of the team now. He really motivates us sometimes, because we look on the sideline, he's over there wishing he'd get on the field, but so we always try to work our hardest. He brings the heart of the team, I'll just say that. It's, it's so heartwarming to, for the mm -hmm. players, for the coaches, for everyone to just accept him and, and allow him to be a part of that. It gives uh, the boys a chance to take care of a brother that's a little bit different than they are. It's great for him, it's great for us, it's great for them, it's, it's really, it's tremendous. We really love him. He really motivates us. He's always happy all the time, always clapping, smiling. We actually feel incredibly, incredibly blessed to be his parents because we get a front seat to see all that he is accomplishing and the effect that, pe that he has on people's lives. It, we're really lucky and really blessed to, to be able to be in that position and to, that he calls us mom and dad. It's kind of like a little brother, I guess. They, they want to protect him they, and in the school hallways and stuff. He's, He's part of the team. Mustang forever, right? They're, they're amazing, and we're glad that they accept him and that they love having him around. Ever since he's part of this team, I just wanted to make sure he was included. We need to prep ourselves, and then we'll get our patients ready to make them contractions. We've been working with contractions and what that looks like, how we make contractions. So we thought as just a fun thing on Friday, the end of the week and celebrating that we finished it, just to do a little bit of contraction surgery. So the kids had two words and they had to put them together and create a contraction. And my teacher was pretending that we were all doctors and we were doing surgery. I think she wants to just be funny for us and like kind of just break up the contractions and everything. A, con a contraction is two words and the first word stays the same and then the second word doesn't. It's either one or two letters taken from the second word and then you add an apostrophe. There was like two bones that were like broken and you had to put it together. Whenever we can do things that's kind of very um, literal or real life that they've seen before, they are really engaged and they love to just know every little thing. Um, I think even me coming in as a doctor was like a shock and it's like, wait, what are we doing? And it just keeps them honed in and keeps them their attention on me even longer than maybe me just being up there and doing kind of a regular thing. So. Hi everyone. Today we are going to be working on one of my favorite projects and that is a fall pumpkin collage. Today you can decide if you would like your pumpkin to look like a pumpkin you've seen in a pumpkin patch or if you would like to cut and glue shapes and features onto your pumpkin shape to give your pumpkin a personality. Maybe a silly mustache, maybe some eyelashes, the choice is yours. You could even challenge yourself and crank it up some notches. I created a swirly curly vine for the top of my pumpkin that I'll show you in just a moment. So the possibilities are endless. Let's talk about materials. Today, for this project, you will just need construction paper, pencil, an eraser, scissors, and glue. If you don't have glue in the bottle, you could use a glue stick or maybe even tape. When you're ready to start drawing out your pumpkin, I recommend practicing with your finger first. That way, you get a feel for how large you want your pumpkin to be.
If you make your pumpkin too teeny tiny, you won't have room for many expressions and details later. I'm gonna use a marker for this part, but I recommend that you use a pencil when you draw out your pumpkin, just in case you mess up. Or if you would rather use marker and you do mess up, just remember that like in a pumpkin patch, every pumpkin is different. Some are lumpy and bumpy, some are tall and skinny, it is okay. When you're ready, you can start cutting out your pumpkin. I always make sure to put my name on the back, just in case it gets lost, I know it's mine. Okay, now it's the fun part. You get to brainstorm and decide what kind of pumpkin you would like to make. Would you like your pumpkin to look like some of the beautiful pumpkins you may have seen in a pumpkin patch? Or would you like to give it a personality? Maybe vampire teeth, maybe long eyelashes, maybe some wings. You can work with your simple shapes or challenge yourself to create something better. Remember that the choice is yours. If you need to draw out your shapes in pencil first, you definitely can do that. Some shapes are harder to cut than others. Just make sure when you have drawn and cut that you glue the dirty side down, meaning if there's any pencil marks left, we don't want the pencil marks to show. We just want our viewers to see an amazing pumpkin. Here we go. Okay friends, it's time for our final step. When you're done cutting, you can arrange your shapes and prepare to attach them. If you have glue in a bottle, you can use that, just a dot, not a lot. Or if you have a glue stick, that works too. Maybe use more than normal, or even tape. This is gonna be an amazing pumpkin collage if you take your time, do your best, and make great art.